welcome to Vex Watch Your Farm. This is my first YouTube video. And I'm going to be introducing myself and some of our chickens. This is the farm, my little farm, and this is it. And these are the chickens. And some of them, I named them after my friends. So if you hear your name here, <laughs> just know that I am just kidding. So my name is Chicken Becky, and that's where the Vex originated from. So today I'm putting you through on how to start a poultry farm. Why I started? Because I'm in Nigeria, so you know, just have to start. I'm from Nigeria, and the other reason is to generate income, to have money, to have your own personal business. So today we're going to be talking about how to start a poultry farm, and it's fifty thousand naira only. So first and foremost, the things you need. First, you need a place. You need a place to start up a poultry farm. You can do a cage. You can start with a small space like this. You know. Then secondly, funding is very important. You need money. Money, 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 money. It's important to start up a poultry farm. You need money to buy the drugs. You need money to buy the feed. You need a good agent that will supply the beds at an affordable rate. You understand? A good agent that will give you good quality chicks. We also need beddings. You can either use rice husk, sawdust, and all that. You get it. And that's where knowledge comes into play. You need knowledge. You need somebody to put you through on the type of bed that you should buy, on the kinds of feed that make them grow well. As you've seen these beds, they are going to, they'll be five weeks on Tuesday. So they are not even here five weeks. And see how massive some of them are. Every five. You need heat sauce. At that tender age, as they old chicks, you should have a heat sauce. If you don't have it in gas builder or you have a charcoal pot or you have light, which should be like 200 watts pot in a small space to put them in there. So you need a heat source. So we need water. Yes, we need water. We need feed. We need to buy their feed. Look at my feed. I formulate mine. But in the beginning, I use either a professional or a commercial feed. But preferably, I use professional feed from brands that produce feed. Then subsequently, I make my own feed. And this is, and that's what they're eating. I make it. It contains the right nutrients. It contains the right carb, the right protein source, the vitamins and minerals. You understand? The correct DCP that is needed for them to grow and see they are growing. So if you want to know more about that, you think to watch Kid and you'll find it in my subsequent video. So I've talked about water, which is a major part of getting to have a farm. So even if you don't have water, you can feel water in your keg. If you don't have water in your farm area, you can pump water, you can fill water in your keg, bring it down, or you get a tank to store water. But definitely no rain water. You're going to have to fetch water, put it in it. So water is a vital source because the birds will drink water, they need clean water, they will feed on water. And after water, we're going to be talking about the drugs, medications, and vaccines. So they really need drugs, medications, vaccines to prevent certain ailments like coccidiosis, Newcastle diseases, Gomboro and all that so watch we meet to the video to the end because I am still going to be putting you through on how to use 50k to start at the poultry farm so for now if you're thinking of starting because in December of course you will make sales so you start with a cage I got a cage a cage for the cage I used to use previously I got it for like 5k so if we're saying okay give and take you just want to make a two-step cage which is just with one zinc that will contain 10 chickens up 10 chickens down so we're gonna say you're going for 25 pieces of chickens the cage should be like 5k and that's set aside or maybe at most 6,000 naira. the bed itself should cost like 10,000 for 20 pieces so that's where we're going to start from we talk about heat sauce Heat sauce is not expensive at all. You can use a pot to put your charcoal and all that. Then get a bulb for them to see the, the light sauce. We talked about the feed. The feed should be like three bags. The charcoal is like 200. So you need like maybe three pieces. Three, 200 per what they tie, like in the market, you get. So you can buy like three to four packs of that to, for the heat sauce. 
then the feed you buy a bag of starter and two bags of finisher then maybe subsequently you can learn how the feed is produced then you can continue with that to save cost the drugs and vaccines should be like three thousand naira. the bed is which is the sawdust so it's like um, 200 naira for two bags 100, 100 naira per bag in my location so all these prices i gave you are price based in my location which is potapot nigeria so when you're summing all of it up summing up from the cage of six thousand to ten thousand for the birds to the heat sauce which should not be more than 500 naira for coal to the feed which should be 30k assuming the feed is 10,000 naira per bag you know to drugs which should be like 3,000 naira and the vaccines then to the bedding which should be 200 so we're talking about a sum of 41,700 and each of these beds will be sold for nothing less than 4,000 if you are burning for a period of 6 weeks to 7 8 weeks you get and this item and resources will definitely be enough and you will get like 100k so you're spending 41,700 and you're making a profit of over 50,000 thank you for tuning in if you like this like this you comment you like you share and let me know what you want me to talk about in the next video thank you Thank you.